Hi, welcome, or welcome back if you're joining me again for another video. And today I have another Ipsy Glam Bag unbagging, so stick around and join me for that. Hi, so uh, today, like I said, um, is going to be an Ipsy Glam Bag day. Um, I just received this, I think, two days ago, and I still haven't gotten into this bag. So I'm not going to drink it out any further. Let me just tear into this bag because I think this is the glam bag for May 2022, I believe. So right away, I can feel that there's something outside the bag. So I'm going to just pull that out right away. I think it's a box. So here it is. Um, okay, so these are tweezers by um, MOTD. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm not going to try, <laughs> but um, I can always use a pair of tweezers. I always seem to lose mine, and these are a pretty pink color. So I like that. So I'm going to put that to the side. Um, and there's another thing in here. I think this is a mask. Yep. This is the Cream Shop Turmeric, Turmeric and Matcha uh, Fusion Sheet Mask. So it's the benefits of two masks in one. So I'm wondering if you're um if this kind of combines. I'm not sure. I'll have to refer back to the card if there's a card. But now let's take this bag. Oh no, my goodness, there's <laughs> there's something else. I think it's another mask. Yes, there is another mask. So this is the cream shots of vitamin C and hyaluronic acid fusion sheet mask. Um, so same thing. I think it's a benefit of the both, but we'll refer to the card if there's one. And now <laughs> let's get this bag out. So here's the bag. Okay, this is the front. A pretty pink color on the back, and the front has some really pretty posies. I really like this bag. It's vinyl, so um you can wipe it off really easily if it gets messy or dirty. And right there on the zipper is a little rose gold medallion that says Ipsy. So I'm going to open this up. There's really not too much left in here, but there is a card. So let's see if it has products. I hope it does. And yes, it is May 2022. So I was right. Wild Beauty. This month, delight in all the things that make you feel alive. A fresh Manny botanical skincare. Going barefoot in the grass and let your imagination run wild. Scan to get this month's theme. So if you've got one of those QR scanners on your phone, or camera you can uh, find out more if you scan that and no I'm so sorry there is no information about the products so I don't know anything I'll have to leave a description in the box below so just look out for that um when I upload the video um, but there is an, some items left and I have this little bubble wrap here and let's see what this is so this is Ditto's Venus palette. So it's from their Venus palette. I think this might be an eyeshadow. Let's see. It's, yeah, it's magnetic. So, okay. Wow. That is a color, all right. It says, I can't make that out. I don't, I don't know what it says. I'm not wearing my glasses. But I will swatch it for you. I'm going to look a little bit more because this doesn't seem to be that pigmented but there you go it looks a little brownish and in the pan it kind of looked purple to me so I'm not really sure but that showed up brown but here it is again see it looks purple to me maybe it's just showing up in camera it's like a brownish purple there it goes see it up close it does look brown when it's on the skin, but in the pan it looks purple. So, let me put that little eyeshadow to the side and take off the last item, I believe, that's in here. Oh no, there's two more items. So, here's a little pot, and this is a wig. So, I believe that this is from the brand Awake. Oops, have it upside down. There's a little pretty mask, face mask on there, a logo. I think this might be lip gloss. I think I might have, yes. 
so okay does have a little sense um you know what i'm going to just pop off camera and wipe down wipe off my lipstick and we'll just try this okay i'll be right back okay so i kind of dipped my finger in the pot before i realized i'm wearing lip gloss so i just pop that off and now i'm just not going to waste any i'm going to use the same little So I don't see much of a tint. It is, it doesn't have a taste, but it does have a fruity scent. And I believe this, this says peach, but I don't really smell peaches. I, at least I didn't. It doesn't smell peach to me, but it does smell like a fruity candy that I can't remember. I can't remember the candy. It's giving me some kind of candy vibe, but I can't remember what it is. So I'm going to put that off to the side and pick up, take off the last product in this bag, which feels like a pencil. And it is. So this looks like... It might be... Let's see. Let's just swatch it. So there you see. It's like a very light pink. I'm hoping that this is an eye pencil can't tell for sure but it does say lotus lake i'm not sure if that's the brand or the name of the product or the maker of the product there's also another name on here um but i'm not sure how to pronounce it so i'll just have to leave a description in the box below um, once I go online and figure out what kind of pencil this is, but I kind of hope that it is eyeliner because it's pretty, it's a pretty bright color to be a lip liner. Although I do have adventurous shades checked off on my um, Ipsy Glam makeup survey, so maybe it could be a lip liner, but I, I'm kind of thinking that it's an eyeliner. But that's it. That's all that came in my May bag this month. And there you see the inside is just like a regular ivory color. Um, but no more products to show. I do have an update. I wanted to update you on a couple of products that I received in previous Ipsy Glam bags. Um, and just let you know how they performed for me. So these are two products that I really have enjoyed in the in recent weeks that I have received them. So this is the Pure Brazilian um, Hair Conditioner, I think. Oh, serum, sorry. And I've been using this off and on for a while. Um, and I really enjoy it when I've used it. Obviously, I haven't used it today. But um, I really like the way it leaves my hair. And um, I definitely would purchase this full size um, I've heard good things about it, which is why I chose it. It was a choice product for me. Um, I believe, um, you know, I really don't remember how much this cost full size, but I will leave that information down below. And I'm really sad because it's almost finishing, so I definitely need to go out and get this product because I really, really enjoyed it. The next item I wanted to share is this little um, compact. It's by... Oh, who is it by? In in bloom, I'm, I'm thinking. It's a little pan of blush. And when I first received it, I liked the product, the way it looked, the aesthetic of it. But I wasn't too sure about the actual shade of this blush. But I have to say, I've been using it quite a lot lately and I have really liked this. I'm going to swatch it for you. So there it is right there. You can see that right underneath the swatch of the liner. Um, I'm thinking it's a liner. Um, it looks very peachy but um, I really enjoy I'm wearing it right now. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it on me um, but I did. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I will leave the specific 
details about this product down below um, just in case you're interested in it um, since I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, but that's all I have to share with you for today's Ipsy Glam Bag for May 2022. I don't have a lot of information about these products but I will leave everything I do find. <laughs> I will leave everything I do find in the description box below. So look out for that when this video posts. But um, I have to say I did get a pretty good uh, amount of full-size products because I did receive two masks which are full-size products. Um, I got the tweezers which is also a full-size product, the pencil another full-size product, and this little pot of gloss and a little um, deluxe sample of eyeshadow. So all in all, it was a pretty good uh, bag for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unbagging. Um, I would love to hear what you received in your bag. I don't know, I don't or don't remember what all was offered um, for choice products. I was kind of hoping this would be a bigger pot because I did just pick my product for June's bag and there was another gloss up for um, my to choose and I passed on it and I was very it was really hard for me to decide about this product because there was two that I really wanted to choose and it's funny because it's between a liner but that one was an eyeliner and the other um of course like I said it was a lip gloss and I thought I was receiving a lip gloss so I think this was my choice product um but I was kind of hoping it was a little bit bigger. I mean, it still got a lot of product in here, so I'm not gonna be mad about it. I did pack a lot into this little pot. It's pretty tiny, so it will fit in in a bag. It's not gonna uh, take over a lot of space. So, I mean, can't really complain there. Um, I probably will use this shadow maybe in the future. Um, I don't dislike the shadow, it's just sometimes it's hard to uh, use the products when they're just one item and I'll tend to go for a palette. So that's the only downside to these little one-off shadows is that sometimes um, you just don't go, for, you just don't reach for them. And But I, I did like the color. Um, I'm a little confused in how it shows up. To me it looks brownish, but in the pan it looks purple, so... Um, unless I'm color, unless I'm colorblind, I don't know. But um, now I wanted to speak to you a little bit about what I'm reading this month, or what I have finished reading, both actually. So, so let's just jump into that real quick, um, because I don't want this video to go too long. I really don't think I've done too much of um, bookish content this month or in the last couple of months, but. Um, I wanted to share with you a book I just finished, which is Three Keys. Um, it's by Kelly Yang, and it is a sequel to Front Desk. Um, I heard about this book on another YouTuber's channel, and I will link her information down below. But I really uh, was interested in the book, and I really enjoyed Front Desk. So when I heard that there was, uh, it was a series, I wanted to... Uh, go on to the next book which was Three Keys. I really enjoyed that book. The first book I, I believe um, talks about um, Mia Tang and her family. So Front Desk was the first book and Three Keys is a se sequel to Front Desk. Front Desk talks about Mia Tang who's at the time 10 years old and her family after struggling they are able to find employment managing a motel. So it talks about their experiences in managing the hotel. In the second book, we hear a little bit more about life at the hotel. Um, I don't want to say any more than that because I don't want to spoil, to have any spoilers for anyone who hasn't read the book and is looking, maybe they're interested in looking to read it. Um, but I, I think this is a middle grade uh, series. I really enjoyed reading uh, these two books. I think there was a third book. Um, I don't remember the title, but I'll pop that here uh, because I do have it on hold on my Libby app. I'm looking forward to reading the next book since I just 
finished the three keys i really enjoyed it i gave both books five stars right now uh for the month of may there is an historical fiction readathon going on that's being hosted by katie from books and things the personal librarian by marie benedict and victoria christopher murray um i really am taken with this book um i started I think I put this on my TBR a while back and I decided to uh, dive into it for the readathon that's being held this month. Um, I'll put some just I'll put a description about the readathon below. But um, I'm really enjoying this so far. I think I'm on chapter seven. Um, but I will talk more about that in a future video. I don't want this video to run that long, so I'm going to leave it right here and I hope that if you stayed this long you did enjoy this video and might consider subscribing for more content such as this but until next time take care god bless see you soon